Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today, I've been meaning to use this palette since I bought it. When did I buy it? I think it was in December. It was before the Black Friday sale. So it might have been mid-November. I think it was mid-November. And it's the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. It's an absolute stunner of a palette. The only thing I've ever done with it is swatch it. I'm really leaning towards this olive shade today. It looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, I think we're gonna have a little bit of a play with this today. So pretty random pulled this out. No, I actually pulled this one out for me just because I've been wanting to use it for such a long time. We're gonna go in with this whipped, whipped cream shade here. Um, just as an all of the eyes colour to set that um, NYX white base you know the huge um, and then the same on this eye right so I haven't looked into it enough to know what I'm going to be using as a crease shade I know right um this one I don't know whether to use a la mode or love you a latte let's have a look at both of these on like do hand swatches is what I'm saying so that's what that one looks like so that one is love you a latte I think and this one is a la mode a la mode why are you not showing up oops Oh, now it is. A la mode is, I don't know, slightly richer. So, let's go in then with Love You A Latte. Just to start with. Just colour switching my brush. Um, okay. Yeah, it's just going with that. Now, I don't know anything about this palette. I don't know if it's got fallout or anything just because I've not never used it before. The only thing I've ever done with it is swatches. I just love Too Faced palettes. I know a lot of people are boycotting Too Faced at the moment, but to me it's just makeup. I don't necessarily have to agree with the owners. I know it's giving the owners money and everything, it's lying in their pockets and whatnot, but Too Faced have been my favourite brand ever since I really got into makeup. I think I'm going to drag it down here to the outer V. I don't know if I'll be buying any more Too Faced products, apart from those um, melted matte lips, if I see one that I really like there. Palette wise, if they come out with another limited edition one next year, I'll obviously get that if I like the colour story. I've never bought any of these tinned palettes, what they brought out Christmas. I never brought any of the um, gingerbread ones, just because the colour story was a little bit too much for me. I don't really like red toned colour um, eyeshadow on me. I speak to so many people and they say to me, yeah, but if you if you use it in the right way, it looks really nice, and I'm sure it does. Right, fallout-wise, I'm sure you'll be able to see it there. There's a little bit of fallout, but it blends out really, really nice. Yeah, so maybe I should just, I don't know, um, I'm using the wrong side of the mirror. Maybe I should just, practice with red tones it's like the Kylie Burgundy palette the burgundies in that palette they scared the hell out of me and it's only eyeshadow it's stupid it's only eyeshadow it wipes off I like this shade though which I'm quite surprised at because it's quite rich 
Um, what can we use to deepen it up with? Part of me wants to use this because I'm using this shade here. Part of me wants to use this because they're not match. So that one is called Sweetie Pie. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in with that shade there. But let's just see what this looks like together. Hopefully they'll blend in and look nice. And I'm not going to say what it reminds me of, but it really does remind me of that. Right, and then I'm just going to get my other brush and we're going to go in with, yeah, they've got a lot of kick up in the pan. Um, I'm going to go in with, oh my god, um, I believe these ones are chunky. Um, so let me just get my brush. Right, so I'm just going to use this one. Um, it's come out of the Urban Decay Basics, I think. I can't believe I've lost my one that I really, really like. I hope it shows itself up. I hope it turns up really, really soon. Right, so we're gonna go in with the brush first. I'm just gonna go in normally, and um, it's not really showing up on the brush, and then we'll spritz it. So you can see, I normally go in like three different ways. One is to go in just with the brush. Two is to spritz it. Three is to then pat it on myself with my fingers just to kind of um, get knowledge of what looks better. It's very, very sheer. This one is one of those that you need glitter glue with. If you're just going to go in with this shade, oh, it's really sheer. I'm not even going to waste my time, guys. I'm just going to spritz it. Okay, let's get the setting spray on it and hopefully that will do a job. Well, do its job. I've heard though, it's still not looking any better. I've heard that the um, shimmers in this palette aren't that great. Certainly better than when it was just a brush. But it's not a great, it's not a great shimmer guys. Maybe this is why the palette has just gone down to being half price. I hate slagging Too Faced off as well, just because I like it. I like the product so much, but I'm, um, I'm only going to give you genuine thoughts here on this channel. Right, we'll do the other eye now. And then we'll go in with a finger and see if that makes a difference. I think it might be because it's got chunky glitters in it. Next time I use this shade, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Glitter Glue and see if that makes a difference. The mattes are really, really good. Right, so that's both the eyes, just with like spritzing the brush. I'm gonna go in, see, it feels so smooth. It might be better than with just putting this on with your finger. Because metallics always look better with just your finger, don't they? Yes, miles more pigmented. But I need to go in with that other shade now because I've gone over it with my chunky finger. Oh, that's miles better. Happy with that now. Um, right, let's find that other brush. Let's go back in with Sweetie Pie. Just for the out of V. As far as the inner corner goes, guys, I really don't know what to use. I might just put this in the inner corner, um, the matte cream ivory shade, see how that looks. Because they, they haven't put um, something in here for the inner corner. 
mean, I could put something colourful in there, but I don't really want to do that. I like to brighten the inner corner, not deepen it out. Mm, that really doesn't look that good. I might just get a highlighter. Maybe use the Too Faced highlighter that I've got. Right, let me just go and get that. Right, so this is the only Too Faced highlighter I've got. It's the Too Faced Love Light, I think it's Prismatic Highlighter, Blinded by the Light. All the writings come off mine. I've had it for a hot second. Um, I'm wearing the print off now, so absolutely adore this highlighter. It's so, so pretty. And it got quite bad reviews when it was released. I don't know if it's because I put that cream ivory shade down but it's not looking shiny so we're just going to put some spray on I mean it's I've never really used it for the inner corner before it's alright it's not the best highlighter at the moment I'm really liking my inner corner to be really blingy well not my inner corner my highlighter right that'll do um that isn't something that i would normally do when pretty random chooses my eyeshadow palettes i really look in that eyeshadow palette for a highlighter in fact there's some in the bh cosmetics one let me just get that which was on the bed all along from yesterday so I have got a ton of highlighters here that I could use. Um, just thinking which is going to be the one that goes the best with that look. I'm being drawn towards this one. Bliss, this yellow one. Because my um, eye look is quite olive. Ooh. Oh yes, that's so much better. I remember when I saw this highlighter palette, this AM face palette in boots and I think it was like £20 or £25 and I'm like I'm not spending that on BH Cosmetics um, but I didn't realise how good BH Cosmetics were, they're absolutely phenomenal for a drugstore and you get all these eyes, eyeshadows here, you get a few duo, a couple of duo chrome ones and then you get in five highlighters it would have been worth me spending that much money but then I saw it for I think 8 99 in TK Maxx and I'm like yes please um, so yeah I got that right what I'm gonna do now is blend everything in right so we've got a bit of fallout here there's a tiny bit here as well but not as much I need to wipe that away. Okay, now we're going to tight line with the Too Faced Love Eyeliner. Every time I use this, I think it's drying out. It feels like it is underneath my eye. But then when I swatch it, it doesn't feel like it. Okay, and then we're using the new mascara I've got, the Essence Eye Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara in Ultra Black. Really, really like this. Yesterday, I noticed that my eyelids, sorry, my eyelashes were clumpy. So I'm only going to do one cart today. Right, and then we are going to grab a lipstick and then we're done. Right, so I'm just checking all the oil is off my lips. I don't know if I'm going to come to regret this. So we've got this. It's not in what Pretty Random has chosen out of my shop, my stash. But I'm really trying to get on board with it. Um, it's, they're not expensive, 
but I did pay, I think it was £9 for it, um, and I want to just use it. Um, but every time I put it on, I feel like I look like death, um, which normally I'm not bothered. I mean, I've got one from Primark that is quite grey toned, and that makes me look really, really pale and washed out, but I actually like that. Um, but this one, I don't know. You can let me know your thoughts if you want down below. If, if you think... If you think it looks absolutely awful on me, you can say. I mean, I'd love to know your opinion. Can you see how pale it is? Right, so this is what it looks like. Does it look awful? With this look, I don't actually mind it. I've got to admit, I don't actually mind it. I might just go and try and find a darker lip liner and see if it can look a little bit better. But I'd really, really like to know your thoughts. I'm gonna come closer in a minute when I show you the overall look, but just let me go and get that lip liner. Right, so I really just grabbed any. This one is from Primark. It's quite dark, but it needs to sharpen. Story of my life. Right, so this one is the PS Instagirl Kiss Proof Lip Liner Pencil. Long lasting, smudge proof and waterproof. I need that at the minute it's raining. Um so the rest of my makeup might not be sponge the rest of my makeup might not be smudge proof, but at least my lip liner is. Um what shade is this? It's called It Girl. Um it was when they were bringing like lipsticks and lip liners out for like Instagram. Um, should have done this bit first. And I'm not the best at lining my lips, so be kind. Especially not after I've actually put the lipstick on. They certainly look fuller with the lip liner, which is not what I was going for. I was going for like a kind of darker look. I think that would only work if you put that underneath and then the lipstick over the top. I mean, I could do that. I could actually put something over the top of it. Right, so I'm just going to zoom in, but I've just got a couple of, I think they're a little bit deeper. Um, and But I want to show you what it looks like before we actually start adding anything. Right, so this is what the overall look looks like. So what do you think of the lips, guys? Um, that's what they're looking like. What is your opinion on them? So I've got two lipsticks here. I've got Stone Rose. I think this is more of a cream. It's certainly darker. I think that's too dark. Um, and Pillow Chuck. That might work. Now, for me personally, I think it looks better with Pillow Talk over it. I think this is the kind of shade that I would naturally go for. I'll use Corset Up. I don't think I'll be repurchasing it again, guys. I just think it's too light for me. I mean, I would say it's almost like concealer lips on me. It's probably not. It's probably just my what I'm interpreting um, on the camera. But I'm pale and pasty as hell um, and seeing something so light on me is always really really shocking but I would like to know your thoughts and what you think um, I just feel like I, I suit a deeper nude rather than a lighter one so yeah leave me your thoughts down below thank you for watching it really does mean a lot to me please like subscribe share and comment and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys